Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to my channel, Executive Clock Gallery. Just wanted to make a short video about this Seth Thomas 102 wall clock. It has a 113 movement. It's very hard to come across, it's very rare. I just wanted to point out a few differences. This one, compared to your traditional 113 movements, it has a longer pendulum. It's got a different leader and it's got a different suspension spring. Also, it has a, a little switch, a little lever for your chime and silent versus having it uh, up here on the right corner with a key. Like this one right here would have, you know, your regulator up here, fast or slow. And then over here, you would have your uh, chime or silent with a key. That's for a tambour. This is for a wall clock. Now, oh. this is a very nice clock. And I took the dial off so I can show it to you. This one's a Seth Thomas 102. There's three of these, 101, 102, and 103. And I just wanted to make a video because it's a really nice clock and it's hard to come across, pretty rare. I just wanted to point out the differences of this one versus the other ones. The tambours have little chains with hammers on the bottom. This one has the hammers slanted, pointing upwards. Just like the the mantle clocks, the 70, 71, 72, and the 73. I have to adjust the hammers, but the this movement is compatible with also the the 70, 71, 72, and 73 models of the Seth Thomas mantle clocks. Uh, except the difference is this has the a silent chime option on the right added to it, and it has a different suspension spring, different leader and a different pendulum. Most of the other ones, in fact, actually all the other ones, will have this kind of, uh, this kind of a pendulum, which has a slot for um, fast or slow. You can raise that up to lock it in place. You can just imagine. Oh, okay, I have to do that later. Anyways, thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. I will also um, uh, I will also attach a link on the inside under the description with more videos. You can see all three of them. That's a very nice case. It has a nice patina to it. It's aged very well. It's got this graining. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.